So I launched out of uh, Freeport, Texas, uh, which is my usual launch spot. Um, headed out about 35 to 45 miles, uh, which is about the limit that I like to take uh, based on the boat that I have, which is a Key West 41 foot 211 DC uh, with the 175 uh, Suzuki uh, outboard. Um, went out to target the, the usual snapper since it's a red snapper season. Uh, Kings and uh, hopefully uh, Cobia and Mahi, uh, which, uh, which I ran into uh, about two weeks ago when I went out. So uh, with the conditions that we have, I figure I'd give it another try. So I'm trolling towards my third spot. Um, and when I got to the third spot, I cut my uh, two snappers out of the 20 or so undersized snappers that I've caught and let go uh, and also managed to catch this uh, mangrove snapper which I also uh, caught and let go because I didn't know what the size limited back limit was if there was any and I started uh, after that start trolling again and this is what happened all right so fish on of course uh, I don't know what it was I'm assuming it's a kingfish um, of course it hit right as I was eating lunch. Uh, I was about to eat and just head back and uh, since I just couldn't catch anything else. Uh, it's taking drag here uh, but the drag wasn't stopping anything. I may have had it too loose. And, um, cranking it in and it really wasn't even reeling so I had to adjust the uh, the lever drag and see if I could uh, uh, control that control it before I get spooled yeah the reel that I'm using is a um, it's called the truth reel and I think now it's called the release reel and then to change your name anyway it's a solid reel but uh, there's just something about the the crank arm I think it's it feels too long to where when I'm cranking it just feels off, out of balance. Uh, so I'm not, I don't use this real much, but uh, I just had it set up and didn't feel like changing the, uh, the lure out. So that's what I'm using. The reel actually handled really well, as you can see, uh, fighting this fish. Uh, once I had the, the drag uh, adjusted again, uh, it, was, it was holding up uh, just fine. Yeah, by this time, and I was worn out, uh, not because of the fight, actually, because I'm just so dehydrated from uh, fishing all day. It was just, I was just sweating all day, and it was just kind of catching up, and uh, he was putting up a fight. Probably a shark. Yeah, by this time, I still haven't seen the color of what kind of fish it was, so I just assumed it was a shark, because I saw a couple of big sharks uh, cruising by just before I started trolling. So this whole time I just figured the day that I had today, I figured it was a shark. Yeah, right here I took that uh, took that rod out of the holder because I thought it was gonna snap in half, uh, that pull that it, it just had. So uh, now I'm just fighting it uh, like I normally would. Uh, like I said, I don't, the reel just doesn't feel right when you're fighting it like this. I usually sit on a kayak uh, using it and uh, same way, I'm sitting there reeling in, it just, it just doesn't feel right for some reason. So as the fish got closer, um, uh, I had, I had another uh, line out that was trolling with. I didn't want it to get tangled up, so I had to reel that in pretty quick. Uh, but as you can see, man, I was worried that thing was gonna break off because uh, it, it is just pulling and pulling uh, at this point.
No! No! Ah, oh, maybe not. It's a cat. No, it looks like a wahoo. No! Yeah, when I first thought it was Oahu, uh, it's because I, I saw the stripes and I knew it wasn't a king. But I also thought it was from the reflection from the water or something. But uh, the second time that I saw it, it was definitely had that distinct uh, uh, sharp uh, nose, snap the mouth, and definitely the striping. So I knew it was Oahu. Which didn't make any sense because that Wahoo should not be here at this depth, uh, at this proximity, uh, the season of it. So I this was this caught me completely off guard. Now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to uh, gaff this sucker by myself and pull it in. Yep, sure enough, missed the gaff on the first uh, two tries. That third try got him right under the belly. What's crazy is he spit that lure out just as I was pulling him in. Shit, look at that. Oh, fucking wow. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just ignored that heavy breathing. Man, I was tired, worn out. But then I was excited about uh, getting this fish in the boat. So, man, uh, like I said, I was exhausted before I even started this thing. I told you guys. Uh, I was gonna tell you where I caught this. This was, uh, I caught this Wahoo at that, uh, the VA Fog shipwreck uh, site. Uh, it's a well uh, public, uh, published site. Uh, you can find that in any uh, fishing maps. Uh, there, I, I believe there's a Liber Liberty Reef uh, uh, just uh, just near it. Oh and this is where God, I caught I can't it. Believe this. Uh, Can this I day, there was actually a wahoo? selfish, I, I believe, that jumped out of the water. All the boaters around us were looking around like holy crap but anyways uh that's where i caught it um if you go the water condition wasn't any different than it was before so i was again i was really surprised uh this wild was here all right guys it's hot as f uh, i was about to i got my two snappers about to go home and then this happened a freaking wahoo i thought it was a big ass king but nope, another bucket fish, bucket lift fish. Cannot believe this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Off of a, uh, a Helco Max 130. I've caught kings, jacks, uh, mahi mahi with that lure. All right, so I'm heading back to the port. Uh, it was a hot day. I'm, I'm worn out. Uh, I've got the uh, the Wahoo iced up in the body bag, and here's a salute to that Wahoo for making this an epic day uh, to remember. I'm um, glad I didn't quit fishing after I got those two snappers. Um, it, it, it was tough getting just those two snappers because there were so many uh, small snappers that I've caught. Just really wore me out, but uh, just glad I kept grinding and uh, uh, catching and. Uh, made my last effort to catch that wahoo so hope you enjoyed the video